a Zempic. You've heard of it, your friend's on it, that celebrity is probably on it. And if you've ever searched weight loss on the internet, the algorithm has definitely tried to sell it to you. But what actually is it? Well, a Zempic is the brand name for semaglutide, which is a GLP-1 receptor agonist. Now, that sounds fancy, but all it really means is that it mimics a hormone in your body that tells your brain, hey, you're full, maybe stop eating. Now, this is part of a series where I explain the drugs you're taking or thinking about taking, because let's be honest, half the time we pop pills without really knowing what's going on inside us. So I'll cover why you need it, how it works, and what the side effects are. Normally I'd say, stick around if you're geeky, but this time I know you will, because the drug has one hell of a backstory. And yes, we're talking big pharma drama, weight loss wars, and crucially, lizard spit. So why do you need a Zempic? Well, that depends on who you ask. Officially, it's the treatment for type 2 diabetes. It helps lower blood sugar levels and improves insulin sensitivity, which is a big deal if your body isn't handling glucose properly. Unofficially, well, unless you've been living underneath a rock or a particularly carb-heavy diet, you've probably heard about a Zempic as a weight loss drug. That's because one of the side effects is that it dramatically reduces your appetite. I mean, we're talking forgetting to eat lunch levels of appetite suppression, which is why it's become a hot topic for celebs, influencers, and even your mate who just wants to lose a few pounds before holiday. Now, Azempic isn't technically licensed for weight loss. That's what its sibling drug, Wegovi, is for. They're both semaglutide. In fact, they're the same drug. They're just a different branding with a different dose. If you're on it for weight loss, the dose is higher. But here's the thing. This isn't just some mild appetite suppressant or a take it and forget it kind of drug. It's a weekly injection that actually changes how your body handles food, how your brain processes hunger, and even how your gut moves. And before you start thinking, wow, magic weight loss shot, hang in there because there's some serious side effects and long-term questions that we still don't fully understand. So should you be taking it? Well, maybe, but also maybe not. But stick around because in the next part is where I break down exactly how it works and why some people love it and while others, well, let's just say their stomachs have other ideas. All right, so how does Azempic actually work? Well, let's break it down into the two big ideas, blood sugar control and appetite suppression. So blood sugar control, the official reason. So Azempic is part of a drug class called GLP-1 receptor agonists. Now that sounds complicated, but basically it mimics a hormone your gut naturally produces called GLP-1, that's glucagon-like peptide one. Now GLP-1 does three important things. One, it tells your pancreas, yo, it's time to release insulin. And insulin helps lower your blood sugar by pushing sugar into the cells. So blood sugar goes down. Number two, it tells your liver, yo, bro, chill out with the sugar production because your liver actually produces sugar. And in stopping this, your blood sugar level won't go so high. And it also slows down your gut, meaning your food moves through your stomach more slowly, which also helps regulate blood sugar levels. So if you've got type 2 diabetes, this is great because it stops your blood sugar from spiking all over the place and aims to lower your baseline as well. Now, what about appetite suppression? And that's the reason everyone's talking about it, isn't it? Now, here's where it gets interesting. GLP-1 doesn't just work in your gut by slowing food down, meaning you're fuller for longer. It also has effects on the brain, specifically the part of your brain that controls hunger. So when a Zempic stimulates GLP-1 receptors in the brain, it basically tells you, hey, man, you're full, stop eating. I mean, why are you even thinking about food? And for a lot of people, this is a game changer. We're talking massive reductions in cravings, smaller portion sizes, and sometimes even forgetting to eat altogether. But why? Well, it turns out that GLP-1 interacts with the reward system in your brain, meaning that food just doesn't seem that appealing anymore. No dopamine spike, no urge to snack, no late night fridge raids. That's why a Zempic works for weight loss. It makes you feel full and uninterested in food, all while keeping your blood sugar levels in check. 
But here's the catch. Because a Zempic slows down how fast your stomach empties, it can cause some pretty intense side effects, which we'll get into next. Let's just say if you're planning to go to Vegas to hit that all-you-can-eat buffet, well, you might not get your money's worth. All right, so Ezempic is doing some pretty cool things, lowering blood sugar and helping with weight loss. But what's the catch? Well, your stomach, it might hate you. Yep, the most common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. Basically, if there's a way for your gut to be upset, Ezempic will find it. Why? Well, remember how it slows food down in your stomach? I mean, that's great for appetite control, but for some people, it means the food just sits there and it makes you feel bloated and full and miserable because the food is in your stomach, just kind of fills up, and then you might start getting reflux and sometimes severe reflux, and that's not nice. I mean, really bad acid reflux is that burning sensation that can sometimes feel so powerful, people sometimes think they're having a heart attack. Of course, you could always take a PPI. In more extreme cases, it can lead to stomach paralysis or gastroparesis where food just stops moving properly. The more serious stuff now, like beyond the stomach issues, there are a few bigger risks, although these are rarer. Gallbladder problems, so slower digestion can lead to gallstones. In some cases, people might end up needing their gallbladder removed, fun times. Pancreatitis, and there is a rare but serious risk of inflammation to your pancreas, which is a really not something you want to have. And muscle loss because if you're losing weight too fast, you might not just be losing fat, you could be losing muscle too. And that's why experts recommend pairing this with a high protein diet and strength training. Otherwise, you might get weaker and less stable. And the ramifications for that, as you get older, could mean you might fall or break your hip or something. And all that kinds of stuff leads to really horrible stuff down the line. And thyroid cancer. So you might read out there that there's some concern that a Zempic could increase the risk of a rare type of thyroid cancer called medullary thyroid cancer. Now, no human study has really proved this yet, but it's enough of a concern that at the time of making this video, the official line is that if you or someone in your family has had this thyroid issue, then this drug is a no-go. And of course, a Zempic face. Now, you might have seen this in the news. Now, it's not a direct side effect of the drug itself. It refers to the rapid weight loss in the face that some people experience when taking a Zempic or other similar GLP-1 drugs like Wegovy. Quick weight loss can lead to loss of fat from the face, which makes you look gaunt, hollowed, and more wrinkly and saggy, and generally just kind of aged. If your face is full of fillers and other plastic stuff, then it can make you look really weird as well and totally unnatural. Now, is this dangerous? No. But is it psychologically distressing? Well, yeah. And that brings us to risk versus reward. Because like all medications, it is about weighing the risks and benefits. If you have type 2 diabetes and need better blood sugar control, or if you have obesity and struggle with appetite, a Zempic can be a game changer. But if you're thinking of taking it to just to drop a couple of pounds, then you need to be aware of the risks because they are real. And if you're wondering, is a Zempic right for me? Well, talk to your doctor. Don't just do what your favourite influencer says. Of course, unless I'm your favourite influencer, in which case, smash that like button, subscribe, share it around! Azempic might be the hottest drug right now, but its history, well, it's actually pretty recent and tied to some of the biggest battles in modern medicine. The war on diabetes, the obesity epidemic, and the rise of big pharma's blockbuster drugs. But to understand where Azempic comes from, we need to go back to the 1980s. A time of great fashion, great music, and also the time of a tiny weird little hormone called GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide 1. In the 1980s, scientists were figuring out that our gut wasn't just a boring food processing tube, it was actually sending chemical signals to the brain, to the pancreas, to the liver, all over the place. One of the biggest discoveries was GLP-1, a hormone that helps control blood sugar. The problem? Well, your body destroys GLP-1 within minutes of making it, which isn't super useful if you want a long-lasting effect. So researchers thought, hmm, what if we could make a version of GLP-1 that lasts longer? 
So enter the Gila monster. Yes, the Gila monster, I'm not even joking. Now here's where it gets really weird. So it's lizard spit time, I told you it was coming. Nature had already solved this problem because scientists discovered that the Gila monster, which is a venomous lizard from the southwestern US, produces a slivery protein called Extendin-4, which behaves just like GLP-1, except it doesn't break down as quickly. Now that led to the discovery of Exenatide, or brand name Bietta, the first GLP-1 drug, which hits markets in 2005 and is used for diabetes. But Bietta had one big issue, it only lasted a few hours. So in the 2000s, it was game-changing time and pharmaceutical companies kept working to improve GLP-1 drugs and by 2010, researchers at Danish Novo Nordisk, which is a pharmaceutical company, not an antivirus software place, found the winning formula, semaglutide. This was a synthetic version of GLP-1 that lasted a whole week in the body. The FDA approved it for type 2 diabetes in 2017 under the name Azempic. And then, something unexpected happened. Patients on Azempic weren't just seeing better blood sugar levels, they were losing a ton of weight. And by 2021, clinical trials confirmed that semaglutide helped people lose an average of 15% of their body weight, which is huge compared to other weight loss drugs. Novo Nordisk quickly repackaged Azempic as a weight loss drug called Wegovi, which was approved in 2021. Same drug, higher dose. But by then, the word was already out and people, celebrity, influencers, billionaires were getting prescribed a Zempic off-label just for weight loss. Demand skyrocketed, leading to shortages, black markets and even counterfeit versions of the drug. ...has revealed a surge in the illegal trade of counterfeit waste, weight loss medicines, often bought from unregulated online sellers. Over the last two years, almost a thousand fake or unlicensed weight loss products have been removed from circulation and almost 400 social media posts, websites and marketplace listings have also been taken offline. Suddenly, we weren't just talking about diabetes medication, we were talking about a multi-billion dollar weight loss revolution. And it literally all just came from lizard spit. All right, time to get probably nerdy. So we already talked about how Azempic works on a broad level. It mimics GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1 to regulate blood sugar and suppress appetite. But if you're here for the hardcore biochemistry, then let me break it down. So GLP-1 is an incretin hormone, meaning it's released by the gut after eating. It binds to GLP-1 receptors, that's GLP-1R, which are found in pancreatic beta cells where they stimulate insulin production and they lower blood sugar, in pancreatic alpha cells where they suppress glucagon and that stops excess sugar production, and in the brain in the hypothalamus where they suppress appetite by telling you you're full. Now this happens in areas like the arcuate nucleus which is crucial for regulating hunger and that feeling of fullness. And in the stomach where they slow gastric emptying making you also feel full. So far so good, but here's the catch. Natural GLP-1 is destroyed in minutes by an enzyme called DPP-4 or dipeptidyl peptidase 4. This is why your own GLP-1 doesn't stick around long enough to be useful as a drug. Semaglutide, the active ingredient of Azempic and Rigovi, is a modified version of GLP-1 that resists breakdown by DPP-4. The secret? Well, it has a longer half-life, around seven days, meaning you only need it once a week in an injection. It's 94% similar to human GLP-1, but has a fatty acid chain attached to it which binds to albumin in the blood, which then slows its clearance and keeps it active for a lot longer. And by substituting some amino acid chains, it makes it less recognizable to DPP-4. This means semaglutide sticks around for ages, continuing to work on your pancreas, your gut, your brain, all week long. And why does Azempic cause such dramatic weight loss? Well, aside from slowing down gastric emptying, GLP-1 directly affects the hypothalamus, which is the part of your brain responsible for hunger regulation. It literally makes you care less about food. Dopamine signaling, which reduces the reward from eating. Essentially, it rewires the way your brain perceives food. So cravings, binge eating, and emotional eating become much less of a thing. What about long term? Well, scientists are still studying whether semaglutide has additional long-term benefits beyond diabetes and weight loss. And some interesting areas of research include cardiovascular benefits. So large trials suggest that GLP-1 drugs reduce heart disease independent of weight loss. 
neuroprotection. So early studies hint that GLP-1 drugs might protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And what about addiction treatment? Because since GLP-1 affects the brain's reward system, researchers are exploring its potential role in reducing alcohol and nicotine cravings. So that's Azempic, a drug that started as a diabetes treatment, turned into a weight loss revolution, and might still have even more surprises up its sleeve. From GLP-1 hormone mimicry to rewiring hunger signals in the brain, it's changed the game for both diabetes and obesity. But like all drugs, it's not magic. There are some side effects and risks and long-term questions that we still don't fully understand. So if you're thinking about it, just make sure it's the right choice for you and talk to an actual doctor, not just your social media apps. Plenty more drug explainers and all kinds of other fun stuff on this channel. So do like, subscribe and share this around if you enjoyed it. Take care, stay healthy and I'll see you next time. Bye.